Hello Aries, thank you for clicking on my channel. Welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. This is your reading. Um, I've already shuffled the cards till one flew out of the cuckoo's nest. King of Earth is at the bottom, so you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, or somebody who's very established, grounded, could be a boss. Uh, we'll see what the look on this face of his is all about and as we go along in the reading. The crowning energy is the messenger of water, and this is about self-esteem, confidence, gaining it, realizing you may be a seahorse, but you're royal. Strength is your next crowning energy, so you could be dealing with a Leo. The number here is eight, infinity. You have tamed that beast within. You have a lot of strength, willpower, courage. Not something you need to pray for. You've already got it. Page of Earth. Someone coming in with an offer. This could be a job, uh, something tangible, something you can hold in your hand. Uh, a gift, perhaps. A, an offer of love. For of air, this is spiritual healing. It could be health healing as well. Taking a break and withdrawing in order to refuel. And we have the call. You're being called to do something. This almost makes me think of the decision card, the two of swords. Uh, but this is spirit calling you. Perhaps spirit calling you to take a break. Take care of yourself. Look after your health. Look after your spirit. Messenger of fire is about consciously making that decision to connect with your higher self. Opening your crown chakra on your own. This is unstoppable energy once you make a conscious decision. It's, uh, it's like giving angels permission to help in a situation. And we have the legacy card, Ten of Earth. This is about wealth, stability, having that foundation firmly in place uh, to a place where it cannot be taken down. No tower moment would shake it. Eight of water, you're walking away from something, person, places, things, something that caused you a lot of hurt and you came to the realization that the only way to stop this was to walk away. Nine of fire, you're wondering if you have wasted your energies or if you're dealing with an energy vampire. Nine of earth. <clears throat> So we have the nine and the ten of earth. This is you deciding that you're better off being independent. And not necessarily like this could, you could be in a relationship. But this is you being more independent, being more uh, authentic, more of yourself. In this particular deck though, it does allude to independence and the prayer for that ten that Ten of Coins, Ten of Pentacles, which is here. Could be it's here and you don't even see it. Eight of Air, you're feeling stuck. This is self-inflicted. You can unstick yourself at any time. But you've decided to wait and see how things unfold, allowing the universe to step you through. Hanged Man is next, so you're in pause. I know a lot of tarot readers say that, oh, this is a bad card. I don't think so at all. You're being enlightened. Spiritual healing up here. Health healing. Being enlightened. enlightened uh, looking at things from different perspectives. Sometimes we need to pause and step back or walk away in order to think, see things more clearly. Let's clarify these cards. After this, Aries. We'll be over at the uh, website. Everything is in the description if you want to join us over there. It's a heck of a deal. For the price of one extended reading, you have access to all of the Zodiacs and all of the Afternoon Daily Delight readings. Also, as a member, an added bonus, you can ask me a question under one of the extended readings and I'll be happy to pull you a card. It's a great way of getting to know you guys and it is my thanks for your support.
Thank you, Spirit. I'm going to move these out of the way because I have a tendency to pull from the same deck if they're in my face. Uh, or too, too close. Bottom of the deck. This could be an opportunity that you will miss. This opportunity is inspired. Whoever is offering this opportunity has been inspired by the Spirit. A thought, a plan, a suggestion. This offer, you're, you've got your arms closed across your chest to protect your heart. This usually has to do with love and emotions because it is uh, water energy. But it is an opportunity that you could miss. You're not seeing it for what it is. Clarifying the messenger of water is temperance. This is making the impossible possible. That's not to say that you are so low in your self-esteem and confidence that it's impossible to ever gain it back. I'm joking. But there is a pot of gold at the end of this rainbow. As you learn more about yourself and as you gain confidence, you're going to start making things happen in a magical way. Strength it has to do with lovers, so it could be a choice in walking away from a lover that was divinely guided to teach you something. Or you could be dealing with a Gemini. It could be that this person taught you a lot about the strength that you that is within you, brought it out. We have the King of Pentacles. We had him at the bottom of the deck in the first deck. And have a look here. He wants to make you an offer. He's in deep contemplation, thinking about you. Again, Earth Energy, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Not necessarily. It could be someone who's just very stable. And as I said, could be a boss. He wants to make an offer. It looks like he's going to make that offer because it's clarifying the page of Earth. Four of Air. Page of Pentacles, same as the page of Earth. Looks like this person is making a sacrifice in order to make this offer to you. But it's going to help you heal. You're being called to make a decision. This is about having options and there's some confusion around it. But the spirit is calling you to make a decision or helping you to make that decision. Messenger of fire opening up that crown chakra. We have someone from the past that you're thinking about. Or someone from the past who is about to make an entry. You could be dealing with children. You could be dealing with a person that you meet that was from a past life. Ten of Earth. So we have you working very hard at building your pentacles. We now have the eight, nine, and ten of pentacles. So you seem to have a plan, Aries, about where you're going and how you're going to get there. But there is a warning to this card, and it is a reflection back on this spiritual, physical health healing. Um, get your rest. Don't work too hard. Make sure that you don't blow your routines or get back into a routine. We have the all-seeing eye over you, which is in the form of the raven. Watching over. You are being blessed, Aries. But take care of your health. This could be because of this crowning energy of self-confidence, self-esteem. It could be just putting yourself first, taking care of yourself. Eight of water is going to be clarified by the eight of water. You are definitely walking away from something. Ending, uh, walking away, a finality, looking for your two of cups. Walking away from what you've all you've invested in the situation. Nine of Fire is going to be clarified by the High Priestess. Now, Nine of Fire, as I said, could be about um, have you wasted your energies? Were you dealing with an energy vampire? High Priestess tells you there are some things that haven't been revealed yet that Universe is not ready to reveal to you. But the High Priestess also indicates you've got this. You're on the right track. Nine of Pentacles is going to be clarified by the hangman. Pause. Hmm. There it is. 
There it is. Yeah. So the nine of earth here, which is the nine of pentacles about being independent, has caused you to go into a serious pause here, feeling stagnant in your life. But look at the top of the tree. The raven, the all-seeing eye, trying to make you an offer that is tangible, a new beginning. And look, you're just becoming enlightened about it. Eight of air, that feeling stuck, you will soon be moving forward. You'll be coming out of this energy and moving forward very quickly. A little discombobulated because you can see these horses are not exactly sure on the direction they're supposed to go. But you're going to hit the ground running. The hangman, when you come out of pause, movement forward quickly to a brand new beginning. Truth, clarity, honesty, um, all of the fast past baggage and negativity gone. And you're going to fly like this eagle. I'm going to take this over to the website. Everything's in the description. Please hit like to help me get my videos out. And subscribe if you haven't. I want to say a very special thank you to the Aries that reached out and supported me. God bless you all. I hope we see you over there. Bye for now.